Well, greetings to you. All right, so I've made it. This is the Columbia Falls radar station. Really? See, our government is taking good care of its facilities. Let me go right there. What mysteries await? Oh my god. A fire hydrant. Yeah, nothing but Rose and Rose AQ Nick. Tank. All right, doesn't look like it's going to be much. I mean, that uh, little cape right there is not attached. Look at this. Jesus Christ. A subject to search. I'm here. Search me. Well, so your government takes care of its facilities. Yep. Vindicator. Should get cameras. Well, some jerks have been banned. You. Somebody's hanging out up there. <laughs> Dell, okay, so they probably had your standard Dells here. I assume they were stolen by whoever is doing all the looting here. This is an engine operation and maintenance manual, not a repair manual. Design of common engines makes it possible to replace worn or damaged parts with new or rebuilt parts. With a minimum of downtime. There you go. Generators. The how to book. Come on, focus. Material safety data sheet. Oh boy, Drew Chemical Corporation. Sorry, fields and SMDR records. Yeah, exciting stuff, huh? Push button. Yeah. Much in here. I suppose this was the generator. Yeah. 
I definitely need a better flashlight. It's an old desk. Yeah, I definitely need a nicer flashlight. Huh. That's my uh, one of those powerful outside lights. Jockey pump. Isn't that uh, to get a guy who rides a horse off? Surprise. I mean, uh, Well, whoever's been in here has been doing vandalism. Not much in here. Oh, it's kind of like a ventilation room. You get all these. Yeah, it's a ventilation room. What's this? Oh, it's a... Eyewash station. Okay, some shelving in it. Oh my god, it's got the old There you go. You know it's old. Critters in there. Abort! Abort! Oh, this is where all those filters are. like a lot of packing peanuts. Can't get there. It's got a big dock lock on it though. Oh yeah, that's definitely Halon fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, they were out looting the wires. Is this a no, it's a refrigerator. All right. Pencil shop enough. Huh. All right, this was obviously some sort of storage. Oh, battery's getting low.
Battery, why do you have to get low now? Wow, this place is so cool. Huh. Oh my god. Someone's couch. Oh yeah, big drafting tables here. This is pretty cool. See, my battery's got to get low. And let's take a look at the area that the... Huh. Now, where's the radar? Good question. Where's the radar? Because, um, like I said, they had two of these kind of systems here in Maine. Uh, they were called over the horizon radar. I, when I was like a Boy Scout or in 4 H, they took us up to this uh, location up north of Bingham. You see my Somerset Railroad video? Yeah, they have these three banks of radars that, like, yeah. Uh, use the INS here to bounce off and detect planes and other things coming in. Oh, I thought I'd show you the conditions I had to face to get in here. Uh, it's not, sort of like this. Once you get off uh, the main back roads, uh, it's all these roads like this just pretty it's ice almost ice almost and some snow so treacherous driving conditions but uh, beyond this little area here it's basically blueberry fields massive 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 blueberry fields which you're gonna see right now Oops. Somebody's gravel pit. Yeah. So this is what it looks like up here. This is a I tell you guys, this is really rural country out here. Look at that, we got a lovely, lovely, lovely sunset. Isn't that cool? Alright, sorry about that. Uh, battery, whoops, excuse me. Battery ran out on my cell phone. Thought I'd been charging it, but I hadn't pushed the charger into the cigarette port. So, sorry about that. But, hey, you, you got to see some of it at least. I didn't get to see the whole facility. Probably three quarters of it, but yeah, it's really the fact I gotta have better flashlights than this little dollar store flashlight I'm using right now. You know, you know, get one of those, uh, I don't know, they go along with all these uh, rechargeable tool systems like DeWalt and Makita and those kind of things, you know, that would probably work right so I'm gonna get something like that anyway something type that can recharge and just provide you with some good light so I'm gonna go that route so when I go into these areas you can see much better than what you're seeing so far I gotta up my game you know yeah so let's this is what the countryside looks like out here in Washington County. Yep. Massive blueberry fields. 
Yes, yeah, so sorry when I was cut off uh, explaining, like I said, these were over the radar or over the horizon radar system. So the one up in by Bingham, that was the sender, and this was the receiver. Yeah. And actually went there when I was part of a 4H. I was part of 4H, you know. And that was a field trip we took up, up to go see it when it was actually operational. And of course, this is during the Cold War. So, yeah, so basically it was just these three big giant walls of radar. That's all they look like, giant screen walls. Uh, they were huge. But there were three of them, and I'll give you the... Um, picture of the satellite view of the facility now and you'll see what I mean right yeah so like it you just bounce the signal off the ionosphere so you could have much greater reach to see if planes were coming and so forth those pesky ruskies weren't coming back during the Cold War sorry kids Back then, uh, like I said, the threat of nuclear annihilation was always present. Although in my time, you didn't have the drills to hide under your desks like the baby boomers had to endure when they were kids. Okay, I'm out here in Columbia, Columbia Falls. And I'll give you another. There you go. Look at that lovely sunset. Blueberry Barons. All right, thanks for coming along. See you at the next video and take care.